Everyone in this world wants to be happy and wants to be away from misery. Few people think that money would give them happiness, so they work hard to earn money. Few people think that regular trips to different places would give them happiness, so they travel to different places when they get vacations, and many more things people do which they feel would give them happiness. But these activities would give them happiness only for a temporary purpose. Islam prescribes a formula to give happiness to people on a permanent basis. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Four things are part of happiness. A righteous spouse, a spacious dwelling, a righteous neighbor, and a comfortable mount. Four things are a part of misery. A bad neighbor, a bad spouse, a restrictive dwelling, and an uncomfortable mount. Sahih ibn Hibban Aspects The following are the various aspects which contribute to happiness and misery. 1. Spouse the partner whom one gets in his life would play a very significant role in everyone's life. If one gets a good spouse, then he would be the happiest and would witness paradise on earth itself. A righteous spouse would support man in procreation, would play a role in fulfilling the natural urge, would make the house a comfortable one and would give respect in the society. Abdullah bin Amr bin Al-As radiallahu anhu reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The world is but a quick passing enjoyment, and the best enjoyment of the world is a pious and virtuous woman, Muslim. Thus, in order to get a good spouse, Islam teaches to select the spouse based on their piety and to give preference to her piety over her money, beauty and family. On the other hand, when a person gets a bad spouse, then his life would be filled with problems and misery. A bad spouse would create problems with everyone in the house, which would destroy the peaceful living of the members of the family. If one gets a wrong spouse, then the person would not be able to do anything constructive in life, as he does not have peace of mind. Thus, a good spouse is always a blessing to people. 2. Dwelling House Dwelling refers to the house in which a person stays. When a person has a spacious house, he tends to have a degree of privacy, which would give him peace of mind. He is able to occupy guests, he would be able to segregate men and women, would be able to give place for everything and much more. A spacious house also helps a person to live a comfortable and luxurious life. Thus, a peaceful house is not less than a great blessing from Allah, and one should thank Allah for the same. On the other hand, when a person lives in a restrictive house, he would not have enough space to do things in a peaceful manner, as he would not get any sort of privacy. This would eventually not give him peace of mind. 3. Neighbor A good neighbor helps a person to live a happy life. If neighbors are good, then they would not witness any kind of trouble or discomfort. Neighbors are the ones who help the person in their good and bad times. Good neighbors would help to keep an eye on your house in your absence, would provide you with things when you urgently need them, and most importantly, they would abstain from causing any sort of discomfort. Thus, Islam gives very high emphasis on being good with neighbors, to such an extent that fulfilling the rights of a neighbor is related to one's belief. One should always ask Allah to give good neighbors. On the other hand, bad neighbors can make your family's life hell. They could cause noise pollution, air pollution, and might also cause damage to your property. They would never be of any help when you urgently need them. Thus, a bad neighbor would become a bane to people. 4. Mount Vehicle Man needs a comfortable vehicle to travel and when a person is living in a city, the need of a comfortable vehicle would be much more as he would have to travel to different places at regular intervals. Thus, one should ask Allah to give them a comfortable vehicle, which would help them to move freely and easily. On the other hand, one does not have a vehicle, then he would have to depend on public transport, which would not be comfortable most of the time and would lead to wastage of time as one needs to wait for the transport. Conclusion There are few things in the world which gives man temporary happiness and there are a few things which gives permanent happiness. Visiting a botanical garden, visiting an amusement park, visiting a new place would only give temporary happiness as the happiness would come to an end once we leave the place. But there are a few things with which a person has to stay and use until his death such as a spouse, a house, a neighbor, a vehicle and if they are good then he would live a very happy life. If you are new to our channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get regular updates. If you like our video, then please drop in a like and share the video with your friends and relatives and gain Sawabijariya.